Welcome to the Brevis Consulting Living and Learning Podcast. Now to your host, Shivraj Prashad. Shivraj Prashad. I am so happy that you have chosen to join me today. As founder of Brevis, I work with a whole host of exciting folks and together have the privilege of serving companies, leaders and institutions across sectors and geographies in order to enhance their learning culture. Physical activity of any kind is going to make a huge difference, boost the immunity, fight against the viruses, going to improve the quality of your sleep, help you to reduce the stress hormone and release more happy hormones. Today I speak to founder of Rejuvenation Fitness Group JK Francis on why it is important to stay on track or even change your fitness goals. Mr Francis, thank you so much for speaking to me on the Brevis Living and Learning podcast. Thank you so much Shivraj for giving me this opportunity to talk in your show. Now I'm familiar with Rejuvenation Fitness Group or RFG having heard about you for a good number of years and finally succumbing to work out with one of your trainers 2 years ago. For our listeners now who don't know much about you please tell us more. I'm glad that uh, you're training with uh, one of my colleague for last 2 years and I'm very sure that you're benefiting out of the training. I done my graduation from Sports Society of India in Health and Fitness. and came to delhi way back in 1999 started working in saki sports complex as a gym instructor and around 2 years of work there and thereafter i got the opportunity to work as a personal trainer for few clients and within months time i was flooded with opportunities and then i thought why don't i bring in more people and give them also the opportunity and make it really big so that's how it all started and luckily by my base team they were superb and i could create a strong base for my team and we formed rejuvenation fitness group and right now we are having more than 200 trainers which includes male as well as female trainers and we have more than 2000 clients all over india currently we are focused into home personal training and we make sure that we are training according to your uh, fitness level and depending on your medical history we chart out the training for you but why did you decide to set up rfg when there is already such a crowded fitness industry we have gyms home instructors fitness academies etc etc you know how over crowded fitness industry it is we have place for everyone actually in 2001 2002 the personal trainer concept was not that familiar in india but we understand the client's fitness level depending on their medical history we chart out the training program for them if a client is having certain medical issues we definitely consult with our expert doctors in the panel and ensure that the client is getting the best exercise and best exercise suggestions colleagues of mine they are being hand picked by my core team and we train them around 6 months time which includes theory as well as practical and the client management and how to deal with different situations and conditions and they undergo first aid and cpr training so basically we conduct an intense physical as well as theory sessions followed by exam so that we ensure that they are having very good quality and they are meeting the requirements of a client I understand that you offer focused personal coaching and that works with folks like me but what about other people just have a habit of going to a group class or gym and for them it's more social what can they do at a time like this but definitely this is a hard time for them because not only exercising they are missing the social interactions also but at this particular scenario we are helpless in that but you should not feel do- low about it the best thing is that maybe you can coordinate with your trainer and on zoom or on in whatsapp itself you can have an online session with your friends on board they can be at their place you can be at your home and have a group session and along with that since you are at home you can always do a group session with your own family members plan out the workout in such a way that everybody can enjoy so you should not end up missing the workout find out a way to continue your training so that you're physically fit and active when this period is over now i've seen reports on social media accounts of people just binge eating neglecting their physical health and even many folks worried they are going to be massively overweight when they come out on the other side what are your top tips to ensure that they actually stay on track 
I understand that's a genuine concern. If you can make this as an opportunity, keep uh, yourself fit and active and have a control on your diet habit, that's going to make a lot of difference. And I feel this is the best time for you to do it also because you have uh, nothing else to do. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people must be working from home. Break time, you can do 15 minutes of exercise. And rather than having heavy meals, have quality rich protein diet will be helpful. Drink lots of water and have a good sleep. All right, so I get the point that you should actually eat in moderation and exercise. But why is exercise so important? Physical activity of any kind, it's going to make a huge difference. It's going to boost the immunity. It's going to fight against the viruses. It's going to improve our mood. And moreover that it is going to improve the quality of our sleep. It will help you to reduce the stress hormone and release more happy hormones. That's going to make a huge impact in your daily routines. But what if I don't have any equipment at home? How do I ensure that I'm doing the right exercise and the right amount? How much is the right amount? Not to worry at all. You can do a good workout by using your own body resistance like push-ups, pull-ups, squats or maybe some sit-ups. There's multiple exercises which you can do in the safest possible way. And even you can do a good cardio by going on the stairs up and down multiple times. That's going to build up your heart rate and it can be a good cardio workout. And along with that skipping, it will be a very good exercise. See, any exercise which you can perform with your major muscles, that's going to build up your stamina. That's going to keep yourself fit and active. If you could exercise 20 minutes to 60 minutes, that will be perfect. And depending on the intensity of the exercise, it can be even 10 minutes also. Just that you need to be regular with your workout routine. At this lockdown period, you need to move around. You should not sit at one place. What if I just watched some YouTube videos or went onto Instagram and followed some of these fitness experts and models and did the exercise they tell us to do? Is that recommended? Workouts on the social media may be of different levels. You may carefully choose the one based on your physical limits and abilities. It's very important. And I would suggest you can always consult your doctor if you have any medical history. And if you have any kind of physical issues, you may please consult your doctor before starting any exercise regimen. And on top of it, most of these uh, videos on social media are performed by highly fit trainers with complex movements. So it may not suit everyone. So it's just not worth taking any risk and getting injured at this crucial times. So I would suggest if you have a good online trainer or you were training with a personal trainer earlier, you may continue with that personal trainer with online personal training. There is no doubt the fitness industry, which is so dependent on equipment, supplements, physical infrastructure is going to take a huge beating due to the lockdown. Do you foresee a change in the approach now to fitness and how people go to gyms and all these public places? Within uh, two to six months time, it will settle down. That's what I feel. And uh, thereafter, it depends on the gym as well as the fitness studios management who is responsible for the basic hygiene. You know, that's going to make all the difference. The equipment need to be wiped and sterilized on frequent interval. Even the towels need to be cleaned very good so that in all the aspects, uh, clients are more uh, comfortable and they will feel safe also. Finally, for those listening to this podcast, how should they work towards creating basic fitness goals and not lose sight of them to maintain the basic fitness goals it's very simple you need to sleep well eat well and exercise well sleep for at least eight hours a day drink at least three to four liters of water exercise 30 to 45 minutes depending on your fitness level and depending on your medical history think positive and everything will be fine so ultimately, our health is our wealth. So how good you can take care of your health in this difficult scenario, that's going to make all the difference. Mr. Francis, thank you so much for speaking to the Brevis Living and Learning podcast. Thank you so much, Shivraj. Thanks for giving me this wonderful opportunity. As a public communications trainer, I sometimes find it exhilarating to dig deep, research already established wisdom, speak to experts and thought leaders to turn it all into my very own gold dust to help you. Really focus on assertive communication and not authoritarian because that's not going to work with your teenage children. They are young adults. They want to be treated like that. That's the key over here, I think. Next, we speak to Arushi Bhatia, counseling psychologist on a survival guide for parents managing teenagers in the time of Corona.
I hope these conversations have helped you in any way. If you have any questions, inputs, ideas, or would just like to connect with me or anyone in my network, shout out by writing in to me at shivraj at brevis.in or look for us, Brevis Living and Learning Podcast and follow or subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, SoundCloud or TuneIn Radio.